So today I'm going to talk about the brand new Raisin Cash account and all the reasons why I think it's a downgrade rather than an upgrade. For those of you not familiar with Raisin, Raisin is basically a broker. Sort of like you have an insurance broker. There's insurance brokers that will find you the best rate on car insurance or homeowner's insurance. Raisin is a broker for bank accounts and credit unions. So they'll get you the best rate all with the FDIC and credit union insurance. So it's federally insured, safe just like a regular bank, but you get a much higher rate than you get with the regular bank. So I received this email June 14th, maybe about two weeks ago, about the brand new cash account. The countdown is on it, and it's basically explaining that it's a new hub for transactions. Here's how it works. If you deposit or withdraw money from a bank, this is the external account. Instead of going directly to the savings product that you signed up with, it goes through this middle account, also known as the hub account. They call it the cash account. So it adds an extra step that you have to do, whether you're gonna take the money out or add the money to it. Here's what it says about the benefits. Initiate deposits to other products on the platform and begin earning interest in as little as one business day. Initiate a transfer to your external account as little as one business day. Now, here's the thing that kind of threw me a little bit. So in a lot of this communication, they're saying that it's faster than before. They're saying that it's faster. It says em empowering you to increase your interest earning days when transferring between products on the platform. This is not saying that the deposits from your external bank or the withdrawals are going to be faster. It's saying you'll be able to buy other Raisin products faster than before. Here's the video they have on the cash account. We're excited to announce the introduction of the cash account, a new feature designed to improve your savings experience with Raisin. This new account will act as a hub for transactions to, from, and within the Raisin platform, allowing for accelerated money movements and more potential interest earnings, all with the safety of federal deposit insurance. It will be faster than ever to move money between products on the Raisin platform, giving you the ability to increase the number of days you earn interest and adjust your savings portfolio with ease, all in just a few clicks. And as always, funds in your cash account will be held by an FDIC member bank and be covered by federal deposit insurance. Greater control and confidence when making transactions, the peace of mind of federal deposit insurance coverage, and a way to put more money in your pocket. Your cash account will make it even easier to maximize your savings with Raisin. Find more details at raisin.com slash cash account. Okay, so if you watch that video, they mentioned nothing about it making faster for withdrawals or deposits. It all has to do with if you want to sign up with another Raisin product or withdraw money from a Raisin account to buy another Raisin product, it's going to be faster or easier. Now, if you actually withdraw money from one of the Raisin savings products that you have, the money will go to the cash account, not the external account like it used to. And it's not immediate. It's not same day. So this example here shows if you cancel a CD or do a withdrawal, the withdrawal is initiated Monday. If you do it on Monday, it's going to be completed on Tuesday. So it's just going to be sitting in this cash account. And by the way, this cash account, although it's FDIC insured, it pays no interest, no interest whatsoever. Then the next day, you're going to have to log into your Raisin account to withdraw the money from your cash account to your external account if you want it to your external account. So I see this as an additional step. Here's an example withdrawing from a savings product to an external account. So if you do it on Monday, the withdrawal is initiated, the money won't appear in the cash account the same day. So then by Tuesday, the money will be in the cash account. Then you have to log in again, you do the withdrawal, then the next day, the transfer out will be completed. Now I'm not sure if this is, this is gonna be cleared with your external bank account, there's probably another day in, for that. So you're looking at probably three to four days at least. So not very fast. And the extra step is the thing that I hate the most. Okay, here's another example. Transfer in from an external account to a cash account. So if you did it Monday, transfer is initiated. The money won't appear into the Raisin cash account by until the next day, Tuesday. That's assuming you did it before the cutoff time, which is 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, transfer out from a cash account to an external account. You're still looking at two days there you go so if you did Monday next day Tuesday so not not very fast and the thing that's annoying is you've got to do two steps 
I have a savings account with Western Alliance Bank. It's paying 5.22%. So I thought, so the other day I, I decided to withdraw $1 to see how fast this thing is, how well it works. So I withdrew on the 24th. And then guess what happened? I forgot about it the next day. So it's now the 26th. I forgot to that I actually have to log in again to the cash account. I forgot that I actually have to log in again to withdraw the next day after the money clears into the cash account. So now I've got basically two days where it hasn't earned any interest because it's sitting in the cash account. So the cash account pays no interest and it adds complexity so after I realized that I didn't do the withdrawal from the cash account, I withdrew that today, and then that's going to take another day before it's out of the account. So for example, if I want to deposit money into this Western Alliance bank account with 5.22% APY, which is currently paying, I select deposit. You'll see it links from my external account, and then I can deposit the money now it does actually look like there's a way to bypass the cash account. Now, when I was trying to withdraw, I didn't see a way to bypass the cash account. So if I just wanna send the money to a particular account, I don't see the point in having the cash account. So for example, if I wanna put some more money into this high yield account, I can select a cash account or the high yield savings account. I can transfer over, let's say a dollar. Your deposit has been confirmed. Now, if I wanna do a withdrawal, let's try to withdraw some money. Now the problem with the withdrawal is if I want to withdraw money from this high yield savings account, it doesn't give me the option to do the external account. So now if I want to withdraw this money, you can see there's no options here to select from. So the money that I withdraw from this savings account is going to go in the cash account where it's going to earn no money and I'm going to have to log in again the next day to take the money out before it goes to my regular checking account where I can actually use it to pay bills. All the products that Raisin has, all the high yield savings accounts, they don't give you an ACH or a routing number where you can use it for bill pay. If you have a Raisin account with a high yield savings product like I have, this is basically like a piggy bank. You're not going to be able to use this to pay your bills. So more than likely, if you need to take this money out to pay bills or whatever, you're going to have to do this process, withdraw, then you're going to have to go through have it sit in the cash account, then you're gonna have to log in again to take the money out. So I see this as a negative, not a positive. However, there are some positives. If we look at my rate right now, it's 5.22% APY. If we look at the other products right now, there's another bank right now that's offering 5.31%. So I could liquidate the Western Alliance account, and then with that money, I can transfer it to this one and I can do it quicker than if I had an external account. So that's the benefit. I would guess that most people probably only have one or two Raisin products. So the idea that you need to have this cash account to have you know, 10 or 15 different Raisin products, I just, I don't see people doing that. Maybe I'm wrong. Now, what do you guys think? I see the cash account is a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. If most people have one or two products with Raisin, they don't need this cash account. So I'm not so happy with this. I think it makes Raisin a little bit worse. Now, if you look at Raisin, I still think Raisin's good. They still offer some of the best rates. You're looking at 5.31%. There's no promo or anything you need to get this rate. You could sign up on your own and get this if you wanted to. But you can't do bill pay, you can't do that. But if you're just looking to save money for a little while, I think it's decent. Or you could do a high yield CD. You could do a two month CD. 5.31. You could do a six month CD, 5.3%. That's pretty good. No penalty CDs. If you look online, you're probably not going to find rates much better than this. You'd have to look pretty hard. So like I said, this new cash account, it doesn't give you any sort of bill pay. It doesn't give you an account number like an ACH or a routing number that you can use for bill pay. It doesn't make it easier to add an external bank account. And that's the problem I've been complaining about the most. Other people have complained about it. Now, when you sign up with the Raisin account, when you add the bank account the first time, the external account, it's not that big of a deal. However, if you wanna modify the bank account and change it and add a different bank account, this is what you still have to go through. So I don't know of any other financial institution that has this sort of submit form that you have to do. So you have to basically submit, you give them your account number for your Raisin account. You give them the routing number of the bank that you wanna use, so if I wanna use my Wealthfront uh, cash account or something else. 
you put in checking savings that's not enough they actually need a statement or avoided check in order to add the bank account so when I tried doing this with my wealth front cash account like three times it just never happened they they never added the account so I'm still stuck with my old DCU bank account that I have linked to this one so I would definitely like to see them improve this. I think this is a major issue and how many emails they probably get with people trying to change their bank account. Everyone else has this set up where it's very easy. So that's the downside of Raisin is this poor, the downside of Raisin is, is this if you wanna change your bank account. So just be aware of that. Now I still think Raisin's a good deal. I'm just not happy with the new addition of the cash account, but it's still a great rate. The money's probably gonna be stored there for a while. It's probably not gonna be something that one would take out you know, every week or so. So the cash account's probably not gonna be as big of a deal as when I'm making it out to be, but it is a little bit annoying. But you can sign up with the bonus right now. You get up to $200 back if you sign up with my referral link and you deposit at least $5,000 into any Raisin account. It could be any other products and keep the money there for 90 days. And the more money you deposit, the higher the bonus gets. So check for my link in the description. All you have to do is select any Raisin product. You select Save Now. You fill in your information here. Enter my referral code. Deposit at least $5,000. Keep it there for at least 90 days. And if you do more money, your bonus could be as high as $200. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, comment below. Have a good one.